And across the state, more Texans are relying on credit cards just to get by. Our Amber Hughes shows where all their money is going. The pandemic has caused the price of essentials to go up, and many folks are relying on credit cards instead of cash. As a provider, I really wanted to be able to support my family. Walker Dunn and his wife have two kids. He says they made some financial missteps buying a fixer-upper home before relocating to San Antonio. We ended up having to max out pretty much all of our credit cards. Uh, take out personal loans through banks. Uh, it was just a nightmare. The Duns fell into a hole, struggling to pay their mortgage. With the interest payments alone on the credit card starts doubling more than what you actually owe on the credit cards. At that point, it's just kind of, where do you go? Studies show they're not alone. According to a new report by Upgraded Points, Texas has the 12th highest rate of increased credit card reliance due to inflation. 36% of Texans are relying on credit cards to meet their spending needs, and 95% of adults are stressed about recent price increases. The categories that increase the most is housing, groceries, transportation. You can't really do a lot about that. Those are necessities. Vernita Gonzalez has worked for Money Management International over 30 years as a counselor. She says inflation is having the biggest impact on young adults under 25. 121% of the calls that we received were in that age group. They're stressed about finances because there's not enough money to fall back on. Inflation rose from 2.3% in 2020 to 7% the next year. Vernita suggests people reach out for help before they get three months behind on bills, messing up their credit. What are you spending? Where is it going? Can you make changes? Are you willing to make changes? MMI assisted Walker five years ago. He's relieved his credit score is back up after paying off about $90,000 in debt. It's always in the back of my mind with uh, getting back in debt. Today with the inflation, I could see how more and more people are struggling to get by and there is hope. And according to Spirian.com, the average Texan owes just a little over $6,000 in credit card debt. That's above the national average, which is about $5,500. And one in three Americans believe it will take them around two years to pay off this debt.